Yeah, it was it was a really good performance. It was um, I would say almost complete, but if I'm being perfectly honest and a little bit picky again, I thought we made life a little bit more difficult for ourselves in the last sort of ten minutes, and we needed to. Just got a little bit loose with the ball. I thought we'd uh, we'd worked them so hard. I thought there was there was times where we could have just killed the game and played passes, but they were so confident they kept trying to go for the uh, for the killer, and uh, as I say, made life a little bit more difficult than it needed to be because they didn't really break us down at all. Uh, but I thought the shape and I thought the work rate, you know, starting from the two front lads, that you know they give their centre halves a really tough afternoon, and everybody backed them up. Uh, and two really welcome goals from set players. I mean, we, we still created plenty. You know, look at the look at the post at the end, and if uh, if he had left the ball, Riggy would have been in one on one. So, but they're, they're strikers for you. But um, yeah, it's difficult to pick anybody out. I thought I thought everybody played the part in a, in a really good home performance and a, and a good clean sheet. Mm. Do you feel it could have easily been more than two goals today? I thought the performance warranted probably more goals, but you know that's that's where that's where we do need to improve. Uh, but I thought you know, just just the fact that Bromley are a you know they're a good side and they've, and they've got quality and they're not they've not had the best you know first half of the season. But the fact that teams like this can you know bring three high quality players in uh, two days before the game. Um, and you know that's something that's something we can't do. So we, we didn't know too much about the system they were going to uh, they were going to play. So we just had to worry about ourselves. And I, and I think, as I say, I think anybody that came up against us today would have found it tough. Mm, it's a fourth consecutive clean sheet at home as well. Is that particularly pleasing on top of the win? Yeah, I think we always have to you know we always have to use the, the base of being strong and, and resolute at the back. I, I think I think the system that we're playing at the moment suits everybody. I think we've got really good balance. You know, with Tinks and Fraser, good right-sided centre halves and. and Wing backs and John and, and Scotty and then Mike just shoring everything up and, and dragging everybody around. So I just think it, it worked well. And as I say, we weren't broke down too much from open play today. It was, it was silly fouls that we give away that allowed them to load the box again, really. Mm, and two more goals from set pieces. Um, what was your take on both of those? Great deliveries. Um, you know, Luke Wallen, well, he was really coming to his own the last sort of month. And, um, he was good again today. A little bit wasteful with the ball right near the end, as were a lot of the lads. But on the whole, you know, he put he put pace and, and accuracy on both the corners that went in, and um, and it was a say we, we've one of the messages before the game was you know they they haven't got great height. They've got two big centre halves. They've had a big centre midfielder, but they haven't got great height. So you know we need to be a little bit more of a danger on set players. So luckily that came off today as well. Everyone played the full game today. Was that testament to how how well they were playing on the field? Yeah, I think sometimes you look at it and. Sometimes you want to get fresh legs on. Sometimes you think people have give you everything and they've got nothing more. But today was one of those days I kept looking around to Mickey and saying there's nothing wrong. Uh, and as I say, last 10 minutes, everybody was a little bit wasteful with the ball at times. But uh, And I'd have been fuming if that had cost us a goal because the, the, the performance deserved a clean sheet. So, as I say, that's, that's just some, that's well, the only really negative side to what I said after the game. And uh, moving on, what's the message to the lads after that game? Well... They've done unbelievably well. It's it's you know it's it's been a fantastic start of the season, but we do need to keep getting better. And if we keep getting better and can pick up more points in the second half than we've done in the first half, then there's a good chance we're going to reach the goal that we without that is you know, every game that comes and every every time you, you come back on a Saturday and you see the results and you think we're still in the playoff position, you know it's it it will become a reality hopefully. But uh, there's so much hard work between now and then. Have you, has the team surprised yourself how they've played the first half of the season or the position they've found themselves? I've always said that, you know, I knew they were good players, I knew they were good lads, but you never quite know how people are going to react to this league. Because a lot of players come from from Premier League teams coming into this league and just can't hack it. Uh, and these lads have, have took to it great. Physical side of things, they're getting better. Decision making, they're getting better. Um, and they're all good footballers, as I say. And today, certainly near the end, could have been a little bit more uh, comfortable because they're all they're all very comfortable on the ball. Tom White, you know, from what we did with Tom last season. And John and Elliot, um, all in and around the team now. Um, you know, it, it's 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 worked well. It's worked well, but they've had to step up the plate, and you know, we will give them the chance. I said I give them a chance because we were in a situation where we we knew where we had to go with the budget and the and the squad, uh, but they had to prove themselves, and and they've done that certainly this half of the season. The challenge to them and the rest of the lads now is, can you get even better?